Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Fernando and uh, welcome to the channel. This channel is dedicated to the young professionals or undergraduate students who are pursuing a degree in engineering. Uh, this video, I want to make sure that I share with you all things that you can currently be doing to still get an engineering internship right now. Uh, I think when we think about an internship, we think about it as I have to be underneath a company. I have to, you know, be quote unquote, an employee of the company for it to count. But there's things that you can do to really be, you know, proactive in building the resume with the intention of being able to say, hey, although I didn't work for a company, I still got internship experience with the things and the actions that I took. Uh, this summer, right? So the summer's here. You either have an internship, you're doing it online, you're wishing, you know, you could have done something better to get one, or unfortunately, you just didn't get one, right? Uh, but there's things that you can be doing right now to make sure that you're still building that resume. And so what I want to do in this video is I want to share three things that you can take, or uh, actions that you can take, or things that you can be doing uh, to making sure that you're building the resume and not just wasting your time on, on TikTok or on Instagram just scrolling through your feeds uh, with the intention of just wishing that you could have done something different. Again, these actions that I'm about to share with you can still be applied if you're doing summer school. They can still be applied if you're pursuing, if you're doing a simple job, right? Uh, simple in the sense of not in the engineering world. You can be working at Walmart like I did one summer. You could be work, uh, selling knives like on Cutco uh, or vector marketing like I did one another summer. Regardless of the situation, these are things that you can do right now, right? So step number one or action number one is figure out what your friends are doing in their internships, right? Uh, stay big picture. Think about the software that they're using. Think about the problems that they're fixing or think about the problems that they're going after, right? So what do I, what do I mean by that? Uh, let's just imagine that we have a friend who is doing an internship in civil engineering, right? So when I ask them the question, say, what are you doing? They're going to ideally give me an answer like, hey, I'm using AutoCAD Civil to work on some problems. I'm using softwares like Hydroflow Express. I'm using softwares like uh, CAD, CAD systems uh, to, do, uh, to do sewer lines and that kind of thing, right? So with the intention of doing that is saying, you know what, maybe I don't work for an engineering company right now, but let me go and find out and get a free AutoCAD civil license through Autodesk uh, and just practice the summer, right? Figure out what pipe networks are, figure out what surfaces are, figure out what you know, you do with when trying to do grading, right? These are all different terminologies that you're going to ideally learn in your internship, but guess what? You don't have an internship, so why not just try to bring the resources to you, right? Uh, with the intention of that is saying, again, I'm not learning these things in an internship, but at the end of the day, I'm still doing the same things that my friends are doing, so that whenever I do talk to the recruiter or, or the, the uh, company representative next summer or at the next career fair, I can speak the lingo and I can tell them, Hey, again, these are the things that I did last summer uh, to really prepare myself and not fall behind. Now, another thing that you can do is really go deep on a passion project. Think about the things that you really enjoy doing, right? So there's friends that you know really have a passion for trying to bring sustainable, uh, just water, better water quality to their communities. So let's find out, you know, there's an Engineers Without Borders. Let's figure out whether or not there's local organizations looking for talent, you know, with people with your expertise, people with your experience to really be able to come and say, hey, Maybe these are the things that we should be focusing on. Now, again, you're an intern, right? So there's things that you just don't know and you don't know what you don't know. But when you go and join these organizations and like go and join these different passion projects that you have, you're going to be able to really go deep, right? And so what the intention in here is, I want you guys to figure out how to develop a, a very strong message on your why, right? So like why is this important to you? Uh, the reason I'm using a passion project is because you're going to be able to really figure out whether or not this is truly a passion project or is it something that you just kind of enjoyed, right? So again, going back to the example of saying, when I talk to your recruiter, when I talk to somebody who's uh, going to be in position to give me a job in a corporate role full time or an internship, I can tell them, hey, I'm really passionate about this particular thing. And again, I'm not, start saying, I'm not staying complacent with the intent of just waiting for a next internship. I took you know, uh, the time that I had and I focused on this specific project. And again, there's another thing that you can add to your resume with the intention of being able to show why you're so passionate about this particular thing, right? You really start trying to figure out like to its core on why these things are important to you. Now, another thing that you can do in addition to the two things that I've already said and you know, making sure that you're trying to get that same unpaid you know, experience in an internship, uh, going deeper into your passion project is still looking for an in in internship right now, right? There's plenty of companies, there's plenty of organizations looking for people who are willing to commit to an unpaid internships, right? So examples like that are marketing companies. You might ask yourself, hey, why, why would I want to get marketing experience if I'm an engineering student? Well, again, it goes back to really understanding at the macro perspective on how to, you know, craft a, a dedicated message but also just like learn different things, right? 
the, the more diverse you can become in your in your education and your knowledge base, that you're gonna be able to speak to different people. Um, if you get a marketing experience, whenever you're talking to you know your engineering company and you guys are starting for, for different pursuits, right, in business development or just project pursuits in general, you're gonna be able to understand uh, talk to your marketing uh, to your marketing department. You're gonna be able to talk to managers, you know, in regards to crafting a dedicated message on making sure that you're you're meeting your clients where they're at, right? So there's plenty of inter internships out there right now that are uh, unpaid, right? So again, go out there, build your resume, find different ways to get, get some experience, but at the same time working on your network, right? How do you make sure that you're building a network dedicated for, for you uh, to be able to tap into when you're looking for, for new opportunities, right? Because again, your net worth is your network and you have to really de be dedicated in ensuring that you're building the, the people that you know because if you don't, you know, you're only gonna know your, your uncles and your aunts and, and that's it, right? So you're gonna be limited to the people that you know. So what I wanna do uh, again is, is encourage you guys to think positive. Uh, you know, 2020 has been crazy in its own way. Uh, some of us are trapped indoors, some of us, you know, are dealing with a lot of personal issues. But at the end of the day, you know, there's things that we have to stay positive about and we have to be mindful of, of the future. Uh, there's plenty of things to be happy for, but I wanna, I wanna make sure is that you guys are staying dedicated again to your own personal careers, to being dedicated to your own personal journeys, and just being mindful of what the future looks like. Uh, because you can't be prepared for, for the future if you don't work on it right now. What I also wanna do is share a free resource with you on a guide that I created on how to find a mentor. Again, there's things that we don't know, and the best way to do that is to be asking questions to people who have been in our shoes in the past. Uh, people who we aspire to be, and so again, that, that guy is gonna help you kind of craft up some questions and some actionable steps that you can take to find those people. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. The future videos are gonna be sharing with you all uh, things that you can be doing to make sure you rock your internship if you're currently in one, and also the steps that I took to find a full-time job with no experience. So again, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and you guys take care. Thanks.